Marcus Morris, University of Kansas, starting forward. Marquise Morris, University of Kansas, 6'10 forward. My brother is a, is, is a traditional four. He can stretch the defense. He has great range. He has a variety of post moves. And I'm more of a wing player. Just a score. I mean, that's, that's what I do. That's what I always do. I can just score the ball real well and just do other things, too. Marcus, you know, my brother, he, he's my best friend. You know, um, we've been through everything together. You know, uh, we have all the same tattoos. Uh, in college, we had all the same classes. In high school, we had all the same classes. You know, that's my guy. A lot of my tattoos just symbolize me and my brother. I'm just starting by uh, this tattoo on my right arm, just just my city. You know what I mean, Philadelphia, and me and Keith actually standing back. Somebody drew a picture of us standing back to back, and it says Twin Towers. Growing up in Philadelphia, I mean, just like any other kid that come out of Philly, it's tough times, but that's what make us make me the person I am today. I had a mom that's single parent, just like a lot of uh, other guys, but I mean, she pushed me and my brother to become the best players we can. It was times where. You know, we, we, she couldn't provide for us, and she had to work two jobs, and, you know, times when we lost our home, and, and she just, you know, she always stayed there for us. She always, you know, had our backs. I was in class one day and got a phone call from my neighbor, and he just was, uh, told us that, I mean, our house was on fire. He lived right across from us, and, I mean, at first I didn't take him serious because it, he's, he's one of them guys that plays a lot, so I didn't take him serious, and, uh, just called my mom just to see, just to see, uh, if he was telling the truth, because my mom worked at Tem Temple Hospital, which was, which was five minutes away. So she came around the corner and, and found that our house had burned down completely. Uh, I had a game that day, and I was actually going to skip the game, but she told me to just stay. Played the game, scored about 30. Came, I mean, she told me it's not to come home. Uh, when we came home, it just didn't have nothing. You know what I mean? We just got there, and everything that we, that we always had, and trophies and dogs, cats, Everything was gone. And then uh, we, moved to, we moved my grandparents in a basement. Probably the ceiling was probably 6'5". I mean, it was three of us, me and my, uh, me and my Marquis and my oldest brother that lived there with kerosene heaters and things like that. Family of everything is, is our motto. I mean, that, that we, that we, uh, that we had growing up, me and my brother were so tight that we always stayed together. And, and when we got to Kansas, when we became the captains of the team, we felt as though we had to bring the guys in and make it more of a family thing than just a team thing. Playing with my brother is like playing with your best friend every day. We get along so well, and we, we know each other's game so well. For us to have to uh, part ways in the NBA is definitely going to be hard. We definitely going to hold our own also. So, you know, it would definitely be a blessing if we were to go to the same team. And I hope the general manager's watching. I hope they draft us to the same team. Thank <laughs> you.